as a marketer, you have a job to be done, right? Um, and data clean rooms are just one part of that. So I'm excited to show you how we make it so easy to connect and collaborate with your partners here. So first, um, as a key use case, right, we have to do planning as a marketer. One of that key, uh, key analysis that we have to run is audience overlap. So what I'm going to show you here is how easy it is for an advertiser and a publisher to bring their data sets within a clean room and run this overlap analysis. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and uh, loaded up my table as well as my collaborators table in this scenario of publisher. So I'm able to go ahead and filter, cut this data as I want. And then as I scroll down here, you'll see that we're able to actually understand the overlap based off of uh, certain identity capabilities that have been enabled in this clean room. So here you're seeing first party IDs such as hashed emails, phone numbers as well that are being overlapped with your collaborator in the clean room, as well as let's say an identity partner that we bring in here, which is a trade desk and UID 2.0 ID, in order to understand the full overlap capability that I can get within the clean room. So now that we want to activate and actually go ahead and start our media spend, uh, we need to actually go ahead and push this uh, audience segment into an end platform, right? So just want to show how easy that is directly from here. And this is exactly what I was talking about, how easy it is to connect throughout the ecosystem. And so once we go ahead and push this over, this will then be ready for us in the end destination platform, which is uh, meta here. So we can actually go there and activate this segment. Let's see it. So uh, basically, we're going to go ahead and show another planning tool here, template, which is a, a very common use case, which is audience look like, right? So I, me, me as an advertiser, I'm going to come into the clean room with my high value user set, which is a sales dollar above, in this case, 2,000. So I have about 40,000 users that I believe are my high value users. A publisher is going to be able to come into the clean room with their full user set and all their attributes that they have. And we're going to be able to securely run an AI ML model directly in the clean room. So what we're going to see here is that I can actually identify a net new 180,000 users that are worth uh, trying to target and acquire as a customer because they look like my high value users. And similar to that, we can go ahead and activate here again. This is fantastic. To kind of like tie this off, well, so now that we've done a lot of the planning and activation, we actually need to go ahead and do measurement as well, right, as a marketer. So here we're going to be able to actually now bring in our conversion data and pull it against impression logs that our publishers can bring in. And we can understand then the actual funnel that we're actually creating here, which is the total impressions, clicks, and then attributed conversions that we're seeing. So now we can complete this whole story with measurement as we get down here. I'll zoom that out a little bit here. So now we can see how our media activation is actually performing on these end publishers. And I, I just want to kind of tie it off here with some, some other cool insights that we can do from a measurement perspective. So here, we're actually able to then measure the LTV of our customers with a publisher in one clean room where we're bringing in, let's say, a, a programmatic publisher. And then we can actually understand how this uh, halo effect occurs when we hit this off of a, a, a walled garden clean room, in this case, an AMC clean room, to understand when multiple exposures are happening, how does that impact our LTV and our performance of our media spend here. And then just to kind of showcase how we're connected throughout all these walled gardens, you can see that you can actually bring this into a unified fashion across multiple clean rooms, multiple wall garden clean rooms here as well to understand what is the unique distinct reach I'm getting across all of these, as well as what is the performance of these relative to each campaigns. This is fantastic. It doesn't get much easier in terms of easy use than this. Yeah. This is the full marketing life cycle brought in its entirety in a snowflake clean room, run securely with multiple parties collaborating with each other. This is demystifying clean rooms.